The Institute is really a, a marquee example of what we mean by interdisciplinary approaches. So the core team that came together to develop this institute represents three primary colleges on our campus, the College of Agriculture, the College of Engineering, and the College of Arts and Sciences. Although we know over time that all of our colleges and all of our campuses will be excited to be engaged in the Institute. And it's truly interdisciplinary so by having that label. It really is breaking down the silo in between those colleges and working on collaborative projects. I think in the lead up to the, the formation of the Institute, um, we've been very active with research showcases, workshops, uh, ideation sessions that involved faculty from all across campus. And, and what one such session was devoted to academic programs and brainstorming ideas and ways that we can uh, formulate additional academic credentials to document the knowledge and skill sets that students would gain within digital agriculture, advanced analytics. So yeah, there's definitely, uh, there'll be a future at Kansas State where certificate programs, uh, minors, uh, hopefully at some point in the future, majors and graduate programs uh, are established uh, within digital agriculture. Prepare them by having meaningful conversations with uh, even content experts outside their field. And in many cases, in a corporate setting, you're going to have that. Uh, it's not just going to be a bunch of entomologists talking about entomological problems. Uh, there might be an entomologist in the room. At the same time, that entomologist might need to be thinking about what's the engineering solution to this? What's the educational or business angle that I need to be thinking about? How do I take something as a, as a researcher that's got a very set uh, process in place of asking questions, looking for, uh, looking for solutions or models, and then apply that to something that is really outside of my content or knowledge base. And when we talk to industry partners, uh, this is really what they're looking for in our graduates. Not only our undergraduates, uh, but, our, uh, but our grad students pursuing masters and PhDs. That ability to look at new problems in a new way using maybe a very similar process, knowing that they're going to need to come up with meaningful solutions that can actually translate to the real world. Well, agriculture at Kansas State is done a lot outside the College of Agriculture. The problems we are addressing, they span multiple disciplines. You need methods and solutions and knowledge from, from multiple disciplines. The way really one needs to look at this is, what are the issues we want to address? We want to address food security, for example. We want to address environmental change. We want to bring agriculture into the future. And then next we think, what are the methods we need in order to do that and what is the expertise we need to, to realize that. And then you don't stop at disciplinary boundaries. You just get the people that you need, whether they're in engineering or in artificial intelligence or whether they're in biology or in philosophy, because ethical considerations are also important. Um, that is secondary. You want to get this problem solved. They're asking the university to train the your next workforce. And if I may have the opportunity to really pick the best, and they have the opportunity to train them before they are in the company. And I think that this is uh, where we have this big connection, uh, and it's a win-win between un university and industry. I think that we have, it's a moment to, to make sure that we establish stronger partnerships. It's a moment to think about how we can work together on, this, on the basic scientific concepts. I mean, the university can maintain integrity, can do the basics, can focus on the knowledge. The industry will focus on the economic growth, um, and we will be focusing by doing these partnerships on how we are bringing jobs back to Kansas, that concept of the economic prosperity, because we are training people that are critical and key for the best positions on the company. We are training the new leaders. That, that's the concept of innovation. The formation of the Digital Ag and Advanced Analytics Institute, specifically at K-State, will leverage its existing strengths. Um, while this area of Digital Ag and Advanced Analytics is really nothing 
new per se, and other universities have pursued similar lines. I think the uniqueness of the team that is brought together here at K-State, again, leverages our strengths. And speaking to statistics uh, specifically, um, if we looked back into the 1990s and early 2000s, really the Department of Statistics at K-State was the crown jewel in the entire world of agricultural statistics. And that strength of K-State statistics department still exists today with digital agriculture, new types of data, um, complex types of data, um, and really leverage those strengths again that K-State already has. Um, and this, I believe, again, will set us apart from other institutes because you can collect all the data you want, um, but data by itself is useless. And statistics brings the human component of assumptions, and those assumptions are needed to arrive at decisions. I think it is important to, to me as individual, as a, as a faculty or a research, but I think it is way more important for Kansas State University and the state of Kansas. I think we have all the elements uh, in place. Um, people is the most important you know, element in that. Collaborative atmosphere on campus, and the community vibe we have to work uh, you know, side by side, and the things we are already doing, but in a little bit of a silos right now. So we really want to come out boldly and let people know that you know there are lots of things going on. From a, from a K-State standpoint, I think we have all the elements to be the epicenter for next-gen innovations because of the people we have, the motivation from our leadership, and the community who really wants to see something big, you know, on K-State. So I think time is opportune and we just need to go.